So my name is Ethan Vandenberg. I'm 15 years old and I'm currently on Team Manitoba, the development team. Excellent. So how did you get into bike riding in general, like before racing happened? So my friends from school were in Kids of Mud and I was about 12 years old, 13 years old at the time and they were in Kids of Mud. I wanted to join it um, just to ride with them and so I joined Kids of Mud and turned out to actually be really good without too much practice. Okay, what um, is Kids of Mud? Um, so basically, um, it's like a, a group ride that um, bike shops host and then there's a bunch of adults that are the coaches, but it's, it's just a bunch of kids who come in and ride together at this event. But it's no racing. It's just kind of like every Tuesday night and Thursday night, they'll have a ride. And everyone shows up to that. And I was just happened to be really good. And I, I liked biking, but I also kind of liked winning, of course. <laughs> sure, <So> sure. <laughs> it just kind of went went from there then people kind of told me you know you should race and then uh the first year i didn't race and then in about 2018 is when i really was like okay i'm gonna race now and i'm gonna actually try and win and then 2019 i was really trying to win in the expert category for manitoba and then this year i was hoping to do canada cups but that was a little disappointing maybe there will still be some i hope yeah was there any one in particular that you were like really excited about um yeah so there was one in canmore which i was pretty excited about i go to calgary a lot to train for speed skating because that's where they have the olympic oval and it's like super nice training center there and so i'm really used to that place i kind of I know I know the coffee shops and the bakeries and all that kind of stuff to the go to. So stuff. yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it feels like kind of a second home a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and okay. So speaking of speed skating, I mean, first of all, do the two correspond well? Like, does speed skating get you ready for cycling? Yeah, definitely. So, I, um, I I do speed skating kind of to complement cycling. Um, just because I had a, a great speed skating season, just because I showed up to all the training and, and trained as hard as I could and then got good results from that. But really, I didn't care too much about the results. If all the nationals were canceled for skating and all that, I really wouldn't care that much. I would just be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm using skating to get me better for cycling because usually after my skating seasons, I'm like, already pretty strong obviously it's more of a uh, short interval based thing instead of a endurance so I have to kind of uh, get get my endurance up a little mm -hmm. bit but yeah speed skating really complements cycling especially mountain biking and cyclocross yeah yeah absolutely I would have thought you would have said it complemented track really well but I guess I could see mountain bike and cyclocross for sure yeah the Maybe it does. I've actually never tried track cycling. Yeah. So that might be that might be your next uh, your next step. Exactly. But, um, so what is it about like mountain biking and cross that you you really like? Like what made you kind of gravitate towards them? Yeah. So uh, I really like winning in general. <laughs> Everyone does, and so mountain biking was where it first started and where I was first doing well, and so that was where I kind of put all my effort in towards. And so then I've just kind of gotten really good at it. So climbs became more fun because I was good at the climbs and descents. I'm good at, the, good at the descents. So it was just kind of fun to do that. But I also think it's kind of weird for road bikers, how they like it more since it's just like a road. Come on, <laughs> right? Wouldn't you want to be like barreling down a trail? I, I agree, I agree. <laughs> Um, so with the Manitoba developmental team, uh, what's like the, the most fun thing that you've done with them? Um, I would say it's definitely the training camps. For one, we get to travel. We went to Utah last year, which unfortunately got canceled this year. But it was a super fun trip because, yeah, we got to travel and see a ton of stuff. But 
the the I really like the community of the Manitoba cycling team because everyone's like really close together and we like pull jokes on people um and so it's just like a, a happy community to bike and mm-hmm. bike with them yeah absolutely and I mean mountain biking and cyclocross can be very like individual sports so it's pretty sweet to actually right. have a team that you get to hang out with yeah okay what's the best thing about riding in Manitoba um probably the community I I've been I haven't been too many places I've been to Alberta and and Ontario and I would say their trails are probably a little bit better maybe they just have more trails um so more variety of trails but Manitoba's community is is definitely like a lot smaller and so you you're just riding along and you see someone and oh you know exactly exactly who it is or you're driving to the trail and you see a bike on someone's someone's car and you know in an instant who it is so yeah I would say it's definitely the community you get to know everyone really well and Mm -hmm. that just makes it a lot better biking with with people you know your friends absolutely yeah and then last thing what are your goals in cycling I mean obviously this season is a little up in the air but like say like (laughs) next season and then like long term like is this what you want to do what's yeah what's the goal yeah so I really from kids of mud I really enjoyed cycling and so my initial reaction was well I love this so I'm gonna try and do it for as long as I can and so I just thought racing right I, I'll just I'll just become a racer right and so yeah so this season I really wanted to go to some Canada Cups and kind of get my name uh, out there a little bit more and just build off of that but long term I I definitely want to be looking at more like World Cup races and trying to podium in that, which is definitely a long ways away, but that's the long-term goal just to take it as far as I can. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you've got the Van Den starting your last name, so I have to assume you're going to be really good at cyclocross. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Sort of just in there. You don't really have a choice. (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah, my my opa was uh extremely good speed skater um and cyclist as well, but unfortunately he couldn't really take it anywhere because his parents wouldn't let him compete on Sundays and so the national teams couldn't take him, but yeah, mm. apparently he was like one of the best in Holland where he came from and then immigrated to Canada and and like w- beat the national champion or something here as well, so he was definitely very good as well. Okay, so it's in your blood. You're you're gonna be a great <laughs> cyclocrosser. You you can't have that and not be. <laughs> right, right. Oh, awesome. All right, where can people follow you online? You're on Instagram, right? Yeah, I was actually thinking about starting like a bit of a YouTube channel for like, I'm not sure if have you watched Finn Isles on YouTube? He's mm-hmm. a downhill racer. Yeah, so it'd, it'd kind of be like his kind of you know, documenting the races that I would go to and, you know, kind of behind the scenes, which I think is like super interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, Any level of racer just to watch um, how they race, but also like what they do before the race and how they prepare. I just thought that was extremely interesting. So I, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I probably will. And then, yeah, right now my existing Instagram people can follow that yep what's that handle ethan vberg 